Hello, my name is Tatum McCoolian. Today I had the pleasure of interviewing Zachary Brown, who is the CEO and founder of LearnUp Media located in Orange County, California. In this interview, we will be discussing how and why he got started in the life of being an entrepreneur. So let's jump right on in. So we will start with what is your educational background? I know you're an alumni from Cal State Fullerton, uh, but just tell me a little bit about your educational background. Yeah, so I went to El Medina High School in the city of Orange, and then I transferred to a junior college, Santiago Canyon College in the city of Orange. And then after two years there, I went to Cal State Fullerton and got my degree in communications with an emphasis in advertising. That's great. Um, what made you decide to start your own marketing agency? So it was a process. I mean, I've, I've always been an entrepreneur and kind of knew that I wanted to do my own thing, but not definitively. I mean, as a young person, you're rolling with the punches and trying to absorb experience and nothing's too set in stone, but I've always, I've always had that entrepreneur mind. Um, advertising at Cal State Fullerton, I really enjoyed the program. I enjoyed my professors. I, I think it's important to touch on the mindset while you're in school. There's people that are there to party and have a good time and just want to be in a frat or a sorority and don't really apply themselves. Still very much jokesters and just rolling over from high school. When you're in the classroom, I would advise really putting your head down and trying to apply and absorb what your professors are trying to tell you, even though sometimes information can seem outdated. Um, I just, I would really advise just staying in tune because it comes full circle and you'll find yourself applying a lot of things that you actually learned, whether it's directly or indirectly. Um, but really the deciding factor when I felt like I was ready to start my own agency was during my internship. So just like yourself, you're interning for college web media. Um, it was through just pure luck and networking and relationships that I ended up at a company called App Core Labs based out of Corona. It was a startup company that uh, really dealt with designing phone applications, but also marketing. So I was there to, to market um, specifically in just like the social media facet, but their main product and service was designing people's uh, phone application ideas. So they were subscribed to a monthly online marketer. I'm not sure if you've heard of Billy Genius Marketing. He's based out of San Diego and has a pretty big agency. And it was still a very classroom type feel for me at that point. I was sitting in week after week. So a part of the company, an intern, but I was learning a lot of like social media advertising and just leveraging different online platforms. And this was through Billy Genius Marketing out of San Diego. And I remember he was encouraging his audience to really start doing your own thing. And like, now that you have these tangible skills that you could start to brand yourself and go like business to business and just inquire about how they're leveraging social media and digital marketing, or if they are, what have their results been? So I, I started developing LearnUp Media, the brand actually when I was interning. So the company was very supportive and I was collaborating with different graphic designers and business developers and programmers and uh, executive leaders within the company and like, oh, I'm, I'm going to start doing my own thing. What do you think of this brand? Learn Up Media was originally going to be a clothing brand because the, the, the term, which it's kind of a little outdated now, turn up, everyone wants to like, oh, let's turn up, you know, let's party. I was trying to combat that with trying to make like nerding out and being smart, cool. So like, let's learn up. So I was des like designing different types of uh, apparel, like branding it in that way. And as as the the class I was seeing every week, the, the Billy Genius Marketing, I was like, you know, I could kind of turn this brand into like a marketing agency too. 
And in the beginning, I literally wrote a brochure of deliverables. So did market research, try to lock down what rates would be uh, reasonable and just got a logo created. Um, I put together this brochure and I literally started going just business to business. And this was all while I was still at Cal State Fullerton. It would have been my senior year. So I would map out, let's say in any given area, uh, chiropractic offices, dentist offices, gyms, um, picking up the phone, cold calling, and doing direct sales like that for, I want to say about five, six months. And then it kind of, I, I started landing accounts and they were stacking up little by little. And then it becomes just word of mouth at that point too. Like you build up a solid reputation and uh, really grind your ass off in the beginning to hopefully build a decent reputation. And what started off very social media based in the beginning, because that's where I was considering myself an expert in, in the beginning of my agency was dealing with Google ads and Facebook ads and Instagram ads, um, Twitter, uh, Snapchat started rolling into the scene. But that that's very much just I'm sure, as you know, under the marketing umbrella, that's just one facet of so many different things that are considered marketing. Um, so as I started getting larger clients that were requiring, or I was able to see, like, we really need a full scale marketing plan here. It can't just be there. It should not be just social media. You, if this company doesn't have a marketing director, that's where I started shifting from a social media manager to a marketing director. So putting together big like production shoots and not just being an expert in digital and online, but when does it make sense to have like a nationwide or a spot commercial placed? When does it make sense to place a billboard at a certain area? Um, and that's when I started realizing like the business model that I wanted to pursue was not just branding myself as a social media expert, but um, a marketing director, just kind of moving my way up, gaining more experience and just doing more market research. And it turned into this agency now that I have partners that I met at my internship, which has basically allowed me to thrive. And I refer them business, whether it's designing phone applications or I wouldn't be where I am without my buddy from high school, Grant Kobayashi, who does all my video and directing and editing. He, um, he's been a crucial part of the business. So we're all basically separate contractors that just refer each other work. And it's been, what was it, July of 2017 is when I started the agency. So it's been a couple of years now and, and things are good, even through covid it's just been the luck of the draw of certain clients that I was able to acquire. Their business was still booming, even last year. When Tatum and Zach return, Tatum asks Zach if he comes from a family of successful entrepreneurs and if that's a key factor. This interview is brought to you by College Web Mentor. Check out their student reviews under testimonials and sign up for daily or weekly motivation messages at collegewebmentor.com. Now back to Tatum and Zach. Are there any entrepreneurs in your family? No, really they're not. Um, my mother has been most supportive, but no fault of my dad. He's, he's always been a very corporate mindset person, like kind of safety net, like you want to get your foot in the door and build your way up and have health insurance taken care of and 401ks. And I remember out of high school, he was encouraging me to like be a CHP officer, or a police officer. And I remember just being like, I'm really gonna just do my own thing. Like I appreciate the advice, but that was just how he was raised. My grandfather was a lawyer. So, I mean, he, he was, my, my dad's dad was an entrepreneur in a sense. He he ran his own uh, law office. So he had his own brand in a sense, but that's still, you're fitting into like a government structure at that point. It's, it's not 
a true entrepreneur, I would argue it's a little different, but still definitely has aspects of entrepreneurship. Um, I've really been the first, I would say, in the family to kind of go off and do their own thing. Wow, that's very, that's very brave and brilliant of you. Um, so I know you said that things are relatively good right now, like even with COVID circumstances. Uh, but when you are not so motivated or say you get really discouraged, um, what do you do to pull yourself out of a bad day? Uh, let's see here. There's a lot of different ways of looking at that. I would say I'm very lucky and blessed with my mindset, just whether that's certain genes I was born with. Um, I've always been a very optimistic person and you have good and you have bad days and, and struggles do occur. But I would argue that a lot of people shoot themselves in the foot by not developing healthy patterns so that would be something tangible that I, I could talk about whether we all have different personalities some people are super outgoing some people are not but developing these tangible aspects of like ask your affirmations when you wake up like waking up with purpose and goals and being organized and having all your tasks that were that were uh, that you were doing the day before if you don't finish everything, have things written down. So when you pick up the next day, you can kind of pick up where you left off and just stay on track. Um, but I would really just say everything is pretty much short term. So even if you're having a bad day or if, if things are, are not going as you planned, you have to be able to pivot. And I always like to tell myself that this is short term. So whatever you're feeling, whatever you're, you're going through in business, um, you should be able to realize whether you're living a life and have habits that are going to produce certain results. And I find true anxiety and true depression and people with problems that if you were to step back and observe from an outsider's point of view, you can kind of pinpoint that their lifestyle or their, their choices are are producing certain results in their life so if if you try to stay on the right path and just be a good person and don't uh, scheme people and just be honest things tend to work out you're going to have good and bad days but when you scale back and look at like a month to six months to a year or you're going by quarterly or whatever things things tend to work out if if you're if you are constantly trying to learn and have that mindset of just growing and realizing uh, that you're a young person patience is definitely key that kind of ties in with telling yourself like whatever I'm feeling whatever this is it's it's short term but nonetheless you do have to develop tangible business skills and habits that that produce good results within your company whether that's you have to keep your books really tight like you got to you got to make sure you're set for tax season. You, you got to make sure your customer communication is, is good. Um, that client communication is good. And if, if you start to really develop these things and, and realize what works and what doesn't, I would argue that good results are produced more often than not. Absolutely. I really like that you said um, waking up with purpose. Um. It looks like you're a Beatles fan. I can tell from the picture behind you. <laughs> that's actually uh, Peaky Blinders. Oh, it's not the Beatles. <laughs> no, it, I guess it's a similar vibe, but um, I'm a big Peaky Blinders fan. It's a Netflix series. Oh, okay. So me and my buddies actually recreated. It was a little marketing skit that we did too, or I just wanted to showcase that the agency can produce a certain video so we kind of recreated uh, their opening scene with their soundtrack and we got all giddied up in the 1920s Birmingham England gear and oh gosh it's yeah, so fun got in the office behind me mm. yeah um so there are tons of marketing agencies in Orange County um what would you say is like the key thing that makes um, Learn Up Media stand out? 
I would say my balance between trying to to personify an internal and external agency all in one. So I like to show face oftentimes with my clients just because I want to feel like I'm almost in house with them. I want them to feel like I'm in house with them. I want to show face and keep that relationship strong. But then also I try to always maintain, maintain that external mindset of like an agency looking in at an organization. Cause sometimes that's when the best creative ideas are, are um, developed and you, you need that kind of bird's eye view. But I like to, to mesh those, those two things, which those two different types of agencies, which have pros and cons. Like what are your goals um, for like five years from now for the company? Um, what, are, what are your main goals that you're focused on? Where do you see yourself in five years? So currently I'm developing an internal uh, product that's going to be a phone application. Um, my ultimate goal would to, to be to launch my own, my own uh, worldwide product and service and then use uh, the marketing agency skills to then brand that product. Um, I'll, always, I'll always be open to new business and I'm always excited for new opportunities. But I do like the freedom of time that the agency gives me to really develop my own ideas and try to do my own thing. So in five years, hopefully, I haven't come to market yet with this product, so I can't fully announce it yet. But, you know, I'm just trying to not necessarily change the world because that's, that's a big task. I, I just want to focus on building a product and service that is going to benefit society at large and then really use the marketing skills to put eyeballs on it and make people aware of it. That's really brilliant. Um, what, what kind of music do you listen to to get you pumped up? Music? Mm -hmm. I'm a big fan of EDM. I, I love electronic music. It depends. So I, when I'm working, I don't like music with lyrics in it because it's distracting. So that's when I'll throw on like deep house or different types of house music, just because it's a, it's a nice beat in the background, but mm -hmm. there's not too many lyrics. So I could still focus and uh, yeah, but sometimes I'll mix in some dubstep if I want to like, get crazy and hear some bass. Wow. Actually, that's, that's you can yeah. concentrate with dubstep going on. Oh, I love it. Yeah. It, it triggers the brain. It gets you going. I actually have two huge speakers here by my desk that always, uh, always got music going. That's fun. I love it. Um, what are some, what would you say, like, give me a couple pros and cons of, um, starting up your own business. Yes, of course. Um, so I'll start with the pros, definitely the freedom of time and the ability to make your own schedule to a certain extent. Um, the ability to exercise your brain and think outside the box is, is definitely a good thing. I, I love that freedom of as long as I'm producing results for my clients and making sure at Learn It Media internally and the accounting is being run properly and all that, I can, I can really dabble in other projects. I'm not stuck and I'm not pigeonholed to do one thing. Um, and then just creating your own structure internally within the company and then your life in general, like fitness is a big part of my life. And I could never imagine myself being stuck at a desk for nine, 10 hours a day. I just, I wouldn't be able to justify it from a health standpoint. It just is not, it's not even an option. Um, and I think that's going to be a new thing too in the future is even these big corporations investing into investing in their employees with different um, fitness measures and new products and inventions where you, 
you realize, and I think COVID kind of showed this, or it's, it's going to show in hindsight that people who are moving and healthy are more productive. They, they actually will increase uh, production for any company and in turn, hopefully increase revenue. And just, you have a happy, a happier group of people working, people that are healthy and take care of themselves. So the ability to go on a walk, go on a run, go to the gym, as long as I don't have a meeting set, as long as the tasks are being done and the jobs being taken care of, I can, I can put myself first sometimes. Um, not all the time, because I'll transition into some cons. Um, there's no clocking in and clocking out. So work follows you everywhere, whether you're on vacation, um, whether you're going to the river or going to Mexico or what have you. You always have your phone and you always have emails. You always have work following you. And that's just a fact. And the, another fact, too, is even though I am my own boss, in agency life, your client is your boss, technically. You still work scheduling and structures around to make both parties happy and to get the job done. But nonetheless, your clients are your boss. Um, but, you know, internally, everyone's got bosses, it seems like. But... There's no, another con, there's no safety net technically with some sort of corporate healthcare program or a 401k plan. And that could be deemed as a con at first, just by virtue of having to jump through some hoops and figure it out for yourself. It's not kind of given to you, but it could turn into a pro because then you have the ability to create custom investment plans and um, you can you can get health care oftentimes at a better rate than what could be pulled out of your paycheck. There's always different workarounds and, and stuff like that. But I would the, the pros definitely outweigh the cons. I, I would definitely say that. That's really great. Um, well, thank you so much for um, taking the time to meet with me. And um, I really enjoyed learning all about Learn Up Media and your perspective on starting up your own marketing agency. We'd like to do another interview in the fall too and just see where you're at there. Sounds like a plan. I will be available. Thank you for uh, contacting me and asking me to come on. And I hope there was little gems scattered throughout the conversation that can help anybody in college right now because I remember being in the classroom and you know you, you try to plan ahead but you also try to take it day by day and hope things work out that's that's what it's all about yeah absolutely it was all it was all very great and will be extremely helpful so thank you again and I hope you have a great rest of your day you too Tatum thank you of course take care bye-bye